Okay guys, good evening. Forgive me, I'm a little under the weather. This is Dynamite Dano. This video is going to be about the different types of drinks that we drink as humans and what's, in my opinion, good for you and what's not so good. Now obviously I have three that I bought just for the heck of it. The ginger ale that helps with stomach aches and stuff and that's why I got that obviously if I'm a little sick alcohol ain't gonna help here's your Arizona this this shit's great fruit punch and then then I have a vitamin water that I was drinking earlier but I'm gonna down it right now but anyway though um I, this is obviously I'm going over you know what I suggest you drink and the effects that I know of from my knowledge on whatever we drink, the effects it has to our bodies and what's good. Like obviously you're going to want to drink ginger ale over a Mountain Dew. Mount, don't get me wrong, I'm a Mountain Dew lover guys. I love Mountain Dew, but it's not good for your body, I know, because <coughs> I believe from what I know because of the carbonation and also it can cause diabetes I guess people can get it from drinking too much pop now I don't know if that's a theory or not but I believe that's a fact and it causes more acne breakout like if you see my face I had a Mountain Dew earlier you probably can't see it too well but you know I, I get more acne when I used to drink pop all the time at work it's a curse but I, I confess I probably drink it at work more than I do at home. I've been trying to drink just good old H2O water, even out of the faucet. Even though they say that it can cause cancer, I think traditional water is probably the best drink for you and stuff. And I think we all agree on that. Even though, don't get me wrong, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, all of them are good. You know, they taste good. And I think they're good sometimes. But from what I learned, and we all have this issue as humans, but anything in moderation is a great thing. If it's not, then, you know, too much of a good thing. You guys have heard that saying, and I better know this. I've been through this, even drinking alcohol. Too much of, of anything can be a bad thing. You can't, you, you can't have too much of a good thing, which that saying actually makes sense, because if you have too much of a good thing I didn't think about that until just <coughs> now then you're you're gonna have problems because you're having too much of that food or drink this is mainly about drinks but you guys get where I'm going with this this video was mainly about just you know what drinks do like obviously you're gonna want to drink a ginger ale even over a Dunkin Donut <coughs> excuse me coffee a Tim Hortons coffee or a Starbucks or whatever else is out there. Now I like them all, but my favorite's Dunkin' Donuts. I've tried them all, and I think Starbucks is a little too strong. Like it's more traditional coffee. Dunkin's more sugary, you know, even with their hot coffee. But their iced coffee's incredible. I mean, in yada yada. But um, I guess on this video, like. I have chips right here. I'm too lazy to get up and show you some of the food I have, but I have some witch candies over there. Like, it, that, but between those two, they're both bad for you anyway. But I'd say if you're going to pick one, probably the, I don't know, the chips over the, the witch candies. I mean, obviously you're going to want to pick an apple over those two. I mean, because the apple has vitamin C and... That old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, I, that I believe, and I'm pretty sure that is true, because while we're sick and everything, it, um, you know, the apple does help us with nutrients, because it keeps us healthier, like if you drink a bunch of alcohol and you're sick, <coughs> I've been through this, I, I dipped into a hot tub longer than I had to at a friend's house, I got super sick. And before that, that night, I went out and got trashed at Foxy's up in Scottsville, New York. And I was sick as a bug for like a week and a half, guys. So I recommend anybody that hasn't done that. I'm sure there's a lot out there that have don't do that because it's a bad idea. But I don't have really too much more on foods. Like if you're going to pick between an unhealthy and healthy 
food like I've been trying to eat salads more with my unhealthy food because my brother's girlfriend suggested that and other people but I guess if you mix them together it's better than just eating the junk food but you're obviously going to want a plain salad even without dressing over a large pizza at Pizza Hut or where I'm the area I'm from Avon Pizza Land you know but it's to each his own we all eat unhealthy at some point I mean I, I think most of the foods we eat have something bad in it now I hate to say but being sick sucks and I took a walk a couple of days ago guys that's why I sound groggy but I think that's all I have on on you know food and drinks the healthiness and unhealthiness about them but you guys have a good night and I'm gonna probably get to bed shortly and try to recuperate from this throat I mean, I got cough drops and everything but medicine helps depending on what we need our doctors too and stuff but um you guys have a good night i'm out